Good evening, good evening. How everyone doing today? God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Armin Jail, Spiritual Divine. I'm here to give you um, pretty much a lesson in the word on today, you know, and it's going to still be a beautiful lesson because it's dealing with Jesus, you know, and we, we already know he is an amazing person that was on earth, you know, so, um, and it's still going to come from Monica, chapter 5, verse um, 1 to 5. You know, so my um Monica having a vision. You know, God gave him a vision of what's what about to proceed. You, you know, so um God is gonna be speaking words that come that can come to light that will be history, you know, because God always speaks words and it will um fulfill, you know. So um the title gonna be a promise, a ruler from back to hand. You know, so God promised that there will be a ruler is coming. To a ruler to um um to over um Israel, you know. Now he would care for them and have peace. Now see, he telling um he telling Monica that this ruler will come, and this ruler coming will care for them and will give them peace. Cause you know Israel, they been having some kind of um uh, all kind of um kings, you know have beat them and do all kind of stuff where they have to keep on calling out to God. So now God telling them, now, you will have a ruler coming. They're going to be so gentle and they're going to be kind and you're going to have peace and they're also going to be secure. You know, so um, this story was predicted on 12 days before Christmas. You know, Jesus was born on Christmas. And um, so minor kind of um, prediction um, of trouble and dismay. Between the sentence describing uh, trumpet and glory, you know, so Smith and the judge that had his historical words fulfilled. And, you know, so they said that Israel will be the ruler. That Israel ruler got smacked on the cheek with a rod. And that was the king, Hezekiah. Her, you know, that was the, um, excuse me, that was the, um, that was the king. You know, so they had all kind of kings. You know, hey, all kind of kings that wasn't really protecting them the way they were supposed to protect them. You know, so um, so that was that was one. They talk about um, to marshal your truth, to say the truth for the seeds they lay against us, and they will strike Israel ruler on the cheek with a rock. That's what that's when the um king um Zachariah was um was their ruler, was their king. You know, so um two. But you, um, Bethlehem, thought you are small among the chain of Judah. Out of you will come for me one who will be a ruler over Israel, who organ are from of old, from incense time. You know, and so that pretty much means that God promised to send um, a redeemer who will save his people from their sin. And now, you know, his son Jesus down here to save all our sins. You know, he will be the redeemer, you know, and they also identify um, his birthplace, you know, with Miss um, Bethlehem, you know, he was born, he would be born at Bethlehem, you know, so um, God spoke words of history into being, you know, you know, God created the world and he just spoke words, let it be like, you know, God speak, you know, speaking words are very powerful. You know, and God always speak words and it comes to life. And it, they talk about the organs. The organs had been from eternity and his divine um, is secure from everlasting to everlasting. You know, because see, once he come here, everything going to be everlasting, everlasting until, until um, the end of the earth. You know, so, um, so he proclaimed with authority. That this coming ruler of Israel, who was the promise deliverer of God people, you know, will be God with us. You know, so so, so they're talking about when, when this ruler do come, you know, they're saying it will be God with us. Because, you know, God going to be in Jesus, you know, when he on his journey. You know, so that means God going to be with them at all times. You know, so this ruler will be born in Bethlehem. Meaning, Bethlehem means the house of bread. And this birthplace of Christ is the bread of life. Because, you know, Jesus will be the bread of life. You know, because, you know, he will die and rose back up three days later. You know, so he is the bread of life. 
you know, because you know Jesus come, Jesus gonna be he gonna he gonna be on this world. He he gonna be more than just a ruler to um to Israelite. You know, he gonna care for them. He gonna heal them. He gonna perceive miracles. He gonna do everything. He he gonna do everything that Israel never had in a king before. You know, so um so um three talk about uh therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who in lay will give birth and the rest of his brothers will return to join the Israelite. And so with that what they're talking about there that Israel will be abandoned until time when she who is in labor give birth. And you know they're talking about uh Mary, but first they're talking about abandon. And now God will abandon them just for a little while. And remember this is twelve days before um Christmas. So they will be abandoned for a little while, you know, because um, um, the Israelite called in God about the um about the enemy, and God, you know, abandoned them for a little while, you, you know, meaning they have to deal with their own enemies until a point in time, until this um version delivers this um baby, you know, um. So Israel will have to deal with their own enemy until the virgin born this um this baby until the imperative time of their deliverance should come you know so they have to wait till their deliverance come you know in the meantime they have to deal with their own um enemies you know because god's sending them a ruler i mean this gonna be the best rulers they ever had you know gonna care for them heal them um um perceive miracles and everything and make sure they're gonna be secure you know this gonna be the best rulers they ever had you know, so for he will stand and shepherd his flocks in the strength of the Lord, in in the name of the Lord his God, and they will live security for then his greatness will reach to the end of the earth. You know, so for meaning that he should stand and feed in the strength of the Lord. You know, because you know, long when Jesus is on his earth. All his strength gonna be coming from the Lord. Remember, God gonna be inside him his whole journey. You know, so this all his strength gonna come from the Lord. You know, Christ is the shepherd, and the Israelite will be his sheep. You know, so meaning he gonna care for them. You know, he gonna comfort them. He gonna teach them. He gonna heal them. He gonna perceive miracles. This gonna be a a ruler that they never had before. You know, so he will be their shepherd. And the Israelite will be his sheep, you know. So he will care for them, and he also will give them peace. Because you know Jesus is peace. He is peace in the strength of the Lord. All his strength comes from the Lord. The Messiah will be acting by commission from the Father, and they sure and by. You know, so everything on his, on his journey, everything has to go to um, God. That's just like me. Everything I do on my journey. You know, I always connect with, with, with God. You know, you always have to connect with God because our, our power, our strength come from God. You know, so Jesus always abide with God first. You know, for now, shall he be great until the end of the earth and there would live security on the end of the earth. Now, he's saying as long as Jesus is here, he's saying that they're going to be secure and everything else up until the end of the earth. You know, so he's saying they will, they should be, um, they should be great. Jesus is going to be the greatest thing on earth. You know, he the bread of life. You know, he is the light of the world, you know, until the end of the earth. And he said they will be secure. Israelite will be secure. Um, with this, then this God's um, talking to um, Monica, showing the vision to Monica. You know, he's telling that they will be secure. You will have a ruler that will secure you. You know, so Jesus is the true Messiah. It's called our peace. You know, so five. And he will be their peace. You know, Jesus will be their peace. He will be the true Messiah. It's called our peace. You know, so now we see that um, God spoke these words to Monica. You know, he letting Monica know everything that will be happening soon. He letting her know that uh, a ruler will be coming. You know, so now we see um, Monica predict this story. That a ruler will be coming. 
you know, so this God show uh, Monica all, you know, everything they're about to proceed. And, you know, with everything God speak always be fulfilled because we know Jesus did fulfill his journey and it was well complete, you know, so that the ruler will be coming. So that God made a promise that the Israel would be having a ruler coming that would save all from sin. You know, so he the bread of light coming, coming into earth, you know, being a light and coming to save. He, he not only did, he came on earth and did everything. You know, he preached to everyone, you know, preached that word, you know, to um, try to get on the commandments and try to um, tell them how they're supposed to live on earth, you know. So he was the best ruler that Israel ever could have, you know. So um, he, he let mind kind of know that he sent a ruler that would save everyone from, from their sins, you know. So now um, here God spoke words, and it came to life, and it was history. Historical was fulfilled, you, you know. So he also predicted that the Messiah, where he would be born at. So he did tell Monacan where he would be born at, you know, where his birthplace would be at. You know, that bad to him. Now, he also talked about how the Israel would be abandoned for a little while. You know, they had to deal with their own, own enemy for a little while. You know, so he, he told them, you 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 have to wait until a point in time when this virgin proceed, um, proceed this, um, this baby. And until then, I'm not dealing with y'all right now and, until this virgin proceed this baby. You know, because you know God put this, put this baby inside this virgin. Which is on uh, Jesus, you know, he, that's his 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 son that he's sending down here to save all of us from sin, you know. So he also we also talk about how the Israel would be um, abandoned. So we also talk about uh, the Messiah that will be their shepherd. So we talk about how um, there will be the shepherd. You, you know, we talk about how um, this shepherd was feeding the flocks. You know, that's the, the Israel. You know. He is the shepherd that's going to be feeding the Israelite. You know, he's going to be taking care of them. He's going to be preaching to them. You know, talking about feeding the flock, meaning he's going to be feeding them that word. You know, so um, he also talk about how this um this shepherd will care for them. And this shepherd also going to have peace. Because we know Jesus are peace. And Jesus do care for everyone. You know, so... um. And he, and he also talk about how his strength can come from the name of the Lord, you know. And, and he also talk about, we also talk about how he said about this ruler that the Israelite will live and, and be secure in their land. You know, they will be secure with this ruler, you know, because you know Jesus care. He going to make sure they, they, they is fine, you know. You know, um, Jesus took care of his own disciples, you know. He took care of his disciples. You know, you know, had one deny him, one betray him, you know, but that's how some people are, you know. So we also talk about how great this ruler will be. He will be the greatest. Now, God described that he will be the greatest. He going to be the greatest um, ruler on earth. And guess what? He was. He was the greatest ruler on earth. You know, nobody couldn't top. Just, just um, nobody come top Jesus, you know, on earth. He was the best ruler that Israel ever had, you know. He was the best um, bread of light, you know. He was the light of the world. He came to save us, and he just only came to save us, save us. He all he he also preached, preached his whole journey, you know. He cared for er everyone, you know, and so God already knew everything about this child. You know, this God was was um, speaking these words to Monica, you know, letting him know what he's sending here. You know, he let him know what he's sending here. You know, God was, was expressing so many wonderful words about this child because, he, you know, Jesus was here before already. Jesus was already up there with God already. And God just sent him back down here as a child into this virgin. You know, so God already know what type of person this was. So God talked wonderful words about this person that, that um that the Israelite will soon be having, that he coming soon. You know, they're gonna be the greatest 
the greatest um, rulers that's going to be on earth. And he was. Yeah, he was. Now, God told this whole vision to um, Malachi, you know, for Israel. Let Israelite know that a ruler is coming. A ruler is coming. And that is good news. You know, that was good news to spread that he is coming. You know, and God spoke these words to Monica, and it came to, to, to be, it came to light, to be history, and it was fulfilled. You know, and God have a, God created this whole world just by speaking words. You know, and that's why I said we could be speaking words over our life too. That's why minds start moving a little forward, you know, because I start speaking positive over my life. You know, I stop letting people speak negative. Because, see, when you speak positive over your life every day and anybody uh, speak negative over your life, it bounces right back off. Bouncing right back off. You know, you always command to go back to the center. You know, you, they keep on speaking and you constantly speaking positive every day, it will bounce right back off. You know, so God created this whole world by just speaking words. Words are very powerful. You, you know, so he spoke these words to Monica and letting him know what going to happen. And he spoke so much greatness and good words about this um, Messiah, you know, Jesus, that is coming. You know, that is coming, that he going to be tenderhearted. He going to be um, care for the Israelite. He going um, to be their shepherd. You know, he going to also teach them. You know, you know, you know, he always preaching parables, you know, so they're not, they're going to learn the commandment because, you know, Israel, like, they kind of hard-headed, you know, they ain't want to um, take in the, the commandments, they want to do things their own way, so you're going to have a Messiah that they're going to teach you the commandments that you have to abide by. Now, the story did say they have to abide when this ruler come. God told Amonica, when this ruler come, they have to abide. By his rules or whatever he's teaching them, they have to buy by. You know, Israel was kind of hard headed. They didn't want to listen to Moses. You know, he giving them commandments and stuff. Then, but God let them know when this rule will come, they have to buy everything that he 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 will be telling them. You know, ain't, ain't no stuff that they used to do with Moses. They, they you know, you know, so he let them know you got a new rule that's coming. Good news, you know. You gon' um, you know because they the kind of kings that they had were brutalizing them every time you look around and God they they had to be calling God and God got to be sending that's how God had to send Moses to get them out of there you, you know being brutalized as slave and then God then they disobeyed God God sent them somewhere else then that king started brutalizing and that's when God had to get double they had to come up with a plan to get them out get get them out of there you know. So now they ain't got to go through all that stuff no more. God telling them, I'm sending you a ruler. They're going to be tenderhearted and caring. You know, you're going to be secure. You ain't going to be have to go through all that stuff that you was going through before. You know, so this is a, a he come and God, and God spoke so many wonderful words of this, of his child. You, you know, that going to be on earth. He said, he's just going to be the greatest, greatest ruler, ruler that you ever going to have. You know, and which he was. He was the greatest. You know, he was amazing person on earth. And no matter how amazing that he was, he still has some people didn't like him and was rejecting him. You know, you could be so loving and kind. You could be so great and amazing. You know, they will still have some people would not like you. They will still have people jealous. They will still have people hating on you. You know, so you know, so he had to deal with a whole lot of stuff, too, on his journey. You know, so he not going to be just a ruler. He going to be a healer. He going to he, he, he gonna, um, he gonna perceive miracles. You know, because we already know all the stories I've been preaching on about this lady bent over and all he had to do was touch. You know, so this this going to be a ruler here. All he got to do is touch you, you heal. You know, you know touch you, you heal. You stretching out. You know, blood stop um stop um leaking. You know, so he gonna he gonna be the greatest thing they ever gonna have on earth. You know, they have to they ain't got to worry about making a appointment going to the hospital. You know, you got the healer right there with you. You know, you got the healer right there with you. You know, all he got to do is touch you. You heal. You know, you ain't gotta make no appointment. You ain't gotta go to the hospital. You gonna have the best thing with you. They're gonna be the best king that you ever gonna have. You know, so I hope y'all enjoy 
just lesson. And this was the best lesson ever because anything that's dealing with Jesus can always be a best lesson. You know, God spoke so much good words about his son that will be entered on um, this earth for the Israelite. And he every word that God spoke, it was it was it was everything was true when he said, you know, he was an amazing person that was on earth. You know, he did everything that God said he was going to do. And he completed. Everything was fulfilled. You know, so I hope y'all have a blessed night. And always remember that God, that Jesus always to be praised. You know, he was, he always to be praised because he was an amazing person that was on earth. You know, so we always going to praise Jesus. You know, because Jesus, we always going to call out on his name. He is a healer. You know, he's a healer. And all, all, all we have to do is call out on the name of Jesus for anything that we need, for healing uh, or any situation, any, anything that we need, you know, and for a peace of mind, you know, he was a peacemaker, you know, and he will keep your mind in peace. He will heal your body, you know, so we can call on him for anything we need. Call out on the name of Jesus and you will be saved. Thank you, and I hope y'all have a blessed night, and I will see y'all in the next video.